Hello. In this demonstration, we're going to review using the pen tool and the curvature tool to create shapes that have both straight lines and curves. We'll also look at new in this uh, this particular. We'll also look at some new ideas: that of creating new layers and locking those layers down in the event we want to trace something. We'll look at adding a file with the file place option. So review of the pen and curvature tool, labeling layers much like Photoshop, locking those layers, and placing a file, in this case to trace it with the pen and curvature tool. So you'll notice I have an 8.5 by 11 inch uh, document here. Uh, I'm going to start by placing the item that I want to trace. In this case I have a Nike logo, so I'm going to I'm going to begin by placing the object that I want to trace. So I'm going to do that with file place. While there are other methods of inserting graphics or files into Illustrator, uh, I highly recommend file the file place option as you have more options and you uh, have a greater opportunity to keep the shape of the original object. So I'm going to go up to file and go to place. And here I have that. Uh, Nike logo and I'm going to place it and I can hold my mouse button down and drag it to whatever size I want and then I can hit the selection tool to uh, unselect it and after I've placed that object you can see it is here I'm gonna see it's here I'm gonna go over here I'm gonna label this Nike original okay and so I've labeled the Nike original layer and now I'm going to right beside the eyeball where I could turn it on and off I'm actually going to click this blank area which will lock the uh, this particular layer down I'm going to go to the bottom here and make a new layer above it and I'm just going to call this my Nike okay now I'm going to use the pen tool in combination with the curvature tool to trace this particular logo and really this is a good exercise in not necessarily duplicating a logo but using the pen tool and the curvature tool together uh, and the idea of those small straight segments in between switching tools uh, to have uh, more control of the curvature tool and the pen tool when used together. So I'm going to make sure I have no fill. And in this case I might select, uh, I'll select blue so you can see it a little better and I have a stroke of four so you can see a little better and I'll start with my pen tool and I'll start right out here where this is mostly a straight line and here's a straight line and maybe I'll do one more little straight line before I begin the curve and this is really the main idea of this combining curves and now I'm going to give you a little straight line and straight lines and little segments of straight lines there you can see a little segment of a straight line and using them together and I'm going to come around here and I'm going to get that I'm going to put a little straight line here and then maybe back to the curvature tool and you see how they're used together and now maybe straight line little segment and I'm almost ready to go all the way back and I'll get the direct selection tool maybe drag this out to here so they connect and now I can get my selection tool and I can fill that up maybe with the color green nope. it wasn't selected There we go. That's the right selection tool. And now maybe I'll fill that with green. And you can see uh, I've used the curvature tool and the pen tool uh, in combination with each other using those short segmented lines to uh, almost create that shape identical to what it was. Here's the original. And if you take a look at the original, you can see one reason we use Illustrator. You can see it's pixelated and then here's the new version right we can zoom in on that 
and see that the lines are defined no matter how large we get. Original. And we labeled each of the layers. So we looked at the pen and the curvature tool working together, uh, adding new layers, locking those layers, and placing a file with File Place.